So there's this new humanoid robot called Figure O2 that's been making waves online. It's got some serious backing from tech giants like OpenAI, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and even Jeff Bezos' private fund. So yeah, it's a big deal, folks. The cool thing is that Figure, the company behind this robot, just released a teaser for their latest model, Figure O2, but the video is quite short. Like, blink and you'll miss it sort of short. But if you pay attention, it's packed with intriguing details. Well, let's dive into the video first, and then I'll break down all the key points you need to know. Right, in the video we catch glimpses of robotic joints, limbs, and these futuristic-looking, flexible mesh designs that seem to be part of the robot's body. If you're into specs, they even hint at torque ratings up to 150 newton meters. In simpler terms, that's a measure of how much force the robot can apply when moving something. Plus, there's a talk about a range of motion, or ROM, up to 195 degrees, which is pretty significant in the robotics world. Now, Brent Adcock, the founder of Figure, uh, this guy's no stranger to groundbreaking tech startups, he's also behind Arch Aviation and Vettery, posted on Twitter, or as it's now called, X, that Figure O2 is the most advanced humanoid robot on the planet. Now, that's a pretty bold claim, but considering the heavy hitters backing this project, it's hard not to take him seriously. Adding to that, Figure, the company, only started in 2022, which in startup terms is basically yesterday, and they've already got people talking. They made a splash in March 2023 with their first model, Figure 01, designed to tackle global labor shortages. The idea is to have these robots step in for jobs that are either unsafe or just plain boring for humans, like those in warehouses, factories, and retail. And check this out, they built their first full-scale humanoid robot in just six months. Six months, that's wild. They've got a team of 40 experts, including their CTO, Dr. Jerry Pratt, a big name in the robotics field. The mission is clear, create robots to boost productivity and make workplaces safer. And they've pledged never to weaponize these robots. They're definitely trying to foster a good guy image here. And here's the kicker. They've already landed a deal with BMW Manufacturing, so we might see these robots in action very soon. Plus, Figure 01 featured some impressive integration with OpenAI's GBT4V model, which is top-tier AI tech right now. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. So you can bet that when Figaro 2 hits the scene on August 6, 2024, it'll be equipped with the latest and greatest AI models. But Figure isn't the only player in this arena. The competition to introduce AI-powered humanoid robots into our daily lives and workplaces is intensifying. Elon Musk has been talking about a market for over 10 billion, that's right, with a B, humanoid robots. And he's got his own project, Tesla Optimus, lined up to compete with Figure. Then there's NVIDIA, who's doing some amazing things with their project Groot, utilizing Apple Vision Pro headsets to train AI robots via teleoperators. And don't forget Boston Dynamics. They've been around for a while and are upgrading their Atlas model with electric motors to make it more affordable and reliable. Now, another fascinating development in the AI and robotics world is coming from a startup called Oxford Dynamics, based in Harwell, Oxfordshire. They're working on a robot called Strider, 
designed to venture into some of the most dangerous environments known to man. We're talking about places with chemical, biological, or even nuclear threats. Basically situations where you wouldn't want to send a human. Oxford Dynamics isn't just playing around. They've already secured a £1 billion contract with the UK Ministry of Defence, MOD, to design, develop and supply these robots. The idea is simple. Why risk human lives when you can send in a machine that can handle the job? Mike Alton, one of the directors at the company, has big ambitions. He's talking about building hundreds, maybe even thousands of these Strider robots in the future all with the goal of making the world a safer place. So, what can Strider do? The robot is pretty versatile. It's got a long, multi-jointed arm that can take readings, collect samples, and retrieve contaminated objects. It moves around on tank-like treads, meaning it's built to handle rough, unpredictable terrain. Imagine how tough it would be for a human in a hazmat suit to navigate such places. Strider can do it without breaking a sweat. Well, if robots could sweat. The company started working on Strider in November, and they've got until September to deliver the finished product to the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory. They're aiming for Strider to be used in scenarios like the 2018 Novichok attack in Salisbury, where handling contaminated objects was a serious challenge. This robot could swoop in, grab those dangerous items, and secure them in sealed containers, all while performing tasks that would be really well, practically impossible for humans to do. But Oxford Dynamics isn't stopping there. They're planning to integrate their AI software into Strider, calling it Avis, a very intelligent system. Now, if that sounds suspiciously similar to Jarvis from Iron Man, uh, you're spot on. That's exactly what inspired them. The possibilities here are endless. Shafali Sharma, one of the founders, even mentioned that this tech could be adapted for use in submarines or fighter jets in the future. For them, seeing this technology get into the hands of people who truly need it is the ultimate goal. She said it would be a dream come true to see Strider out there making a real difference. But it's not just the folks at the startup that are excited. Ewan Davies from DEFRA, the UK Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, mentioned in a statement that it's great to see these concepts rapidly turning into a highly capable and flexible platform. So, just like Halfiger is redefining what humanoid robots can do, Oxford Dynamics is proving that AI and robotics can step into the most dangerous environments and potentially save lives. We're in the thrilling era of technology, and it's going to be amazing to see where these projects go next. With Figure's strong momentum and backing from some of the biggest tech giants, they're in a prime position to keep advancing. I'm excited to see the full capabilities of Figure 02 when it finally drops. That said, folks, let me know what you think about this figure or two. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.